Hey, my name is David. I'm a Coke Play Frontier from the Genesis Group. Today, I want to give you guys some Coke Play news. <clears throat> now, this article was found by Lady Coke Play, and obviously, as you all know, I'm my Korean isn't good enough to translate none of that. So, I went to my faithful bird, Papago. Okay. Um, Hey, if you live in the States or wherever you are, wherever you're at in, around the world and you want to translate something from Korean to English, uh, use Papago, okay? Right here. All right. Now, is it perfect? No, I mean, no translator is perfect, but it's pretty good, though. All right, so I'm going to get started. Domestic companies are paying attention to the blockchain in earnest. From last year to early this year, the game industry has been actively building a blockchain ecosystem by issuing irreplaceable tokens, NFT, and cryptocurrency. But now the overall domestic ICT industry seems to be speeding up its blockchain business. That's right. You know, you got games. And some of these games, their NFTs have special like weapons or suits. That's one of a kind. If you have it, no one else is going to have it. Or maybe there's only a handful of people that, that would have it. And you got to pay to have it in order to use it. And so those NFTs are expensive. I mean, tens of thousands of dollars. Maybe hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, let me get back. On the 28th. SK Square, an investment company of SK Group, announced its plan to issue its own cryptocurrency at the first regular shareholders meeting held at its headquarters in Iljuro, Seoul. SK is probably the third biggest company in Korea. Alright, so I think it's um, Samsung, then it's Hyundai, and then it's SK. Or it could be Hyundai, SK, and Hyundai. Samsung, SK, and Hyundai. I don't know, but SK is, I think, is top three. It used to be LG, but I think SK, um, they're bigger than LG now. And the plan is to issue its own cryptocurrency in the third quarter of this year and start listing on exchange within the fourth quarter. So one of the top three, or at least top four, but I think top three biggest companies in Korea, will issue their own NFTs. It's going to be, and their plan is the fourth quarter, which is the last three months of the year. They want to start listing it on exchanges. That's big news because then, you know, you're going to be able to use SK coins on their ecosystem. So let's further, let's go further. Uh, cryptocurrency that SK Square is developing is expected to be applied to various services of SK Group. There you go. SK, so if you don't live in Korea, let me tell you, SK provides phone service. Like the three main phone services in Korea is, uh, you know, SK, LG, KT. All right. So those are your phone services. SK also gas uh sk is also in semiconductor chips i mean sk's you know they're involved in a lot of different industries and so you're going to be able to use sk coins in various services by sk group which is different industries that they're involved in maybe not all but i imagine you know a good portion of them uh Cryptocurrency promoted by SK Square can be used on the Metaverse platform. So they're going to create their own Metaverse, eFriend, operated by SK Telecom and membership points of SK Planet. It is planning to establish an NFT exchange. NFT, NFT exchange on eFriend to provide linked services. So you'll be able to exchange NFTs. That's big. And now don't get it twisted. This is going to be good for Coldplay as well because the more you have people getting um, involved in the metaverse, rather as SK and whatnot, and more people are, are you know, um, investing in NFTs, 
let's not forget, let's not forget that Coke Play has, you know, they're working on NFTs or maybe they already have some NFTs now. And what that does is as more people get onto um, SK Metaverse, they're going to look around for other metaverses, which is going to point them and lead them to Coke Play and the Coke Play platform and the Coke Play metaverse and Coke Play NFTs. And so <clears throat> that's what's happening. Imagine what this is, is like this. Uh, Korea has this thing and you can ask Korean people. It's really funny. But let's say there's like one coffee shop and it's doing pretty good. Then you see like couple more to a handful more coffee shops um, opening up near that one successful coffee shop. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. But however, what that is, is they're just because you have so many people going there that it draws. Uh, you can you're, you're capable of opening up a coffee shop nearby uh, to take up some of the customers. And, you know, in general, they'll do OK. And so here, obviously, Coke Play is first. Coke Play, um, you know, was planning on doing all this first. But imagine, like, in the metaverse industry, the metaverse world, yeah, you're going to have, not only are people going to just try SK Metaverse, but they're going to want to try other metaverses. And that's going to draw them into Coke Play. Until now, SK Square has not hidden its interest in blockchain technology. Uh, SK Square made its first investment worth of 87.3 billion won in the cryptocurrency exchange, COBIT, in November last year, pointing to the blockchain industry as a future food. In other words, the blueprint announced this time revealed the first direction of the blockchain business. Um, Bitthumb Meta. Bitthumb is you know, one of the biggest exchanges in Korea. A uh, collection of affiliates of LG, CJ, and SK in Korea. Once again, LG is a top four biggest company. CJ is also one of the conglomerates. And SK. Uh, CJ makes <clears throat> movies. They also make uh, facial care. And they're involved in other various industries as well. So you have all these big industries... Going into blockchain, trying to make their own metaphors. Why? Because they see the future in it. They see that as a growing industry that is worth, that is worth for them to invest. Now it says billions of wands, like 87.3 billion won, but that's, imagine that's like $80 million. But they're willing to invest millions and millions of dollars into an industry that they know has you know, possibly just unlimited potential. Okay, so why would they do this? They're, because they're, they know just the potential of that industry. And that's the same industry that Coke Play is in. Coke Play was there first. So just keep that in mind. Dream Earth Company, a subsidiary, um, subsidiary of, of SK Square, has also entered the blockchain business. Dream Earth Company, Dream Earth Company, which operates the music streaming app Flow, announced on the 28th that it will invest in Bitha Meta and expand its business to the metaverse and NFT. All right. Another big player joining, you know, and in getting into the industry. Bitha Meta is a subsidiary um, created by Bitha Korea, the operator of the cryptocurrency exchange Bitha, with the aim of establishing. Establishing a metaverse platform and developing an NFT marketplace. And, you know, same thing with Coke Play. Through this investment, Dream Earth Company plans to cooperate as a content partner of Bithameta in the fandom content and music intellectual property IP industry to discover new business possibilities. Now, once again, check this out. Check this out. What is Coke Play doing? Uh, here, Business and Medium, which is, you know, mother company of Coke Play, uh, and Busan City signed business deal to attract investment. Right here, 
Medium enters digital asset financial business. Okay. So let's look at. Okay, look, Medium has been growing and attracting mass attention for its outstanding blockchain technology. And we are constantly seeking out new ways to incorporate this next generation concept in real life. Today, we would like to announce that we have formed a strategic alliance with BNK, Business Busan Bank, and Sony Music Publishing. All right, let's look at the third paragraph. The combination of Busan Bank Financial Prowess and Medium's distinguished technology will create Korea's first metaverse finance. First, okay? Why would a bank work with Medium? Because they know it's legit. It's not BS, all right? Despite if whatever, if you see any articles saying that Coke plays a scam, just think about it. Why would the second biggest city sign with Coke play, you know? Uh, why would a bank sign an alliance, alliance with Coke play? Okay, why would Coke play have so many investors rather they're from China, rather they're from America, you know, um, dealings with banks, official legitimate banks, Sony, music. Why? Because it's, it's legit. Just keep that in mind. Uh, with this service... Users will be able to perform comprehensive financial services, such as deposit transfer and loans on the platform. Additionally, Sony Music, which manages approximately 300 million music copyrights around the world, plans, to dis plans on distributing music digital digitally through NFTs. Through NFTs, okay? Very, you know, I mean, look. Pretty much, you know, what what does this one say right here? Through this investment, Dream Earth Company plans to cooperate as a content partner with Bitha Meta in the fandom content and music intellectual property. Okay, keep that. I'm just saying, this is just how big things are going to get. LG, CNS, and CJ Olive Networks also participated in Bitha Meta investment. LG, CNS is in charge of building NFT marketplaces. While CJ Olive Networks is in charge of NFT production solutions. Both companies are conducting businesses using blockchain technology and will establish an alliance through Bitha Meta's investment. Uh, fintech company KG, I don't know, Inicus, uh, also issues its own cryptocurrencies. The blockchain based cryptocurrency business is also spreading to fintech companies. KG Inicus, a domestic electronic payment company, announced its intention to enter the cryptocurrency business on the 25th by announcing its future business and management plan. Once again, this is a payment system. They want to get into the crypto industry. According to the disclosure, KG Inicus uh, establishes a subsidiary of a special purpose cor corporation in February to start its cryptocurrency business in earnest. The stake is 100% owned by KG Inicus. It plans to support payment through KG Inicus cryptocurrency like Dano's subsidiary Dano Fintech, which currently <coughs> supports cryptocurrency Paycoin as a method of pay payment method. With the development of blockchain technology, cryptocurrency has rapidly emerged as a new payment method beyond speculation and businesses that can provide popularized services with will um, services will dominate the new market, KG Inicus said. Some point out that companies need clear goals for entering the blockchain business. Hong Ki Hoon, a professor of business administration at Hong Yi University, said, although existing industries conduct business using blockchain technology, it is difficult to find a clear reason why it should be a blockchain. Well, you know, blockchains, the information that's locked into a blockchain, you can't change the information. Okay, so that's what people like. People like transparency. The information on a blockchain is transparent. You can't change that information. Once it's locked in the blockchain, it's blocked is locked in and that's what people like we don't like information being changed you know and so that's very important 
blockchain is, if the technology is faster, there's a very good reason. It's more transparent. Okay. Uh, for people, if blockchain payment system gives us more freedom, where if we have a different um, way of thinking than what the government wants us to, wants us to have, you know, we have freedom through cryptocurrencies where the government cannot just take that or control that. So once again, uh, if you heard about, you know, the truckers protest in Canada, Justin Trudeau acted like, you know, Kim Jong Kim Jong Un in North Korea, basically a straight communist, where just because people protest and they have a different point of view than him, he decided to freeze all their bank accounts. So that way, their families couldn't even buy food. Even if you just donated money to their cause, I think it was like more than ten dollars. Um, I remember some woman saying she tried to purchase something at the grocery store to feed her family. And her account was locked. She couldn't buy any. She couldn't use her card. Okay. Just because she had. A, she disagreed with the government. You see what I'm saying? You look at the Russian oligarchs. Uh, maybe they were against. Putin invading Ukraine from the start. And none of that matter. They froze all their bank accounts. They seized their yachts. The world did. Right. And so you can you see how you you saw dictatorship in Justin Trudeau in Canada. You saw that just because something your government did that you have nothing to do with, you could freeze all your money in the SWIFT system. You want something that you have freedom where the governments cannot just you know, um, control your method of purchasing what you want. And it seems that cryptocurrencies do provide that. And that's why, honestly, that's why you, you see Saudi Arabia asking Xi Jinping, the leader of the Communist Party, to come. Because what if... America or other Western nations get angry at Saudi Arabia and their higher level princes, who, which they're billionaires, their they their currencies get frozen in their fiat system. Well, obviously, then they want to work with China because China has their own currency system that you can make international payments with. And so now you have these BRIC countries, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and that S could be Saudi Arabia, but you're starting to see a split where you have other countries, they don't want to use the dollar because the dollar is being weaponized, as in you don't do what we tell you or you, you do things we don't like. We're going to make it so you can use our current, the, the dollar SWIFT system. And so now you have groups of nations working together to overcome that. And... <clears throat> You have Western nations who they, you know, you have two sides now. And so eventually you're going to see the dollar over time within maybe 10 years, uh, 10 to 15 years, lose its status as the global reserve currency. But that's all good between these big powerhouses. What about us, the common person, the common man? What can we do to protect ourselves? Because... We need protection just so we could have freedom of speech, freedom of thought. And we want to protect ourselves from what our politicians might do that might anger other people around the world, which we have no control over. And then we can't even, you know, purchase products because our currency can, the value of the currency can, you know, go down 30, 40, 50 percent in a day, a couple of days or a week or whatever the case is. And so, you know, they want to uh, make it so we can't purchase purchase anything using that currency. Well, that's what cryptocurrencies are for. That's what cryptocurrencies are for. And, you know, 
to me, that's a good reason to use blockchain, to use cryptocurrency. I'm just saying, you know, it's food for thought. Uh, I'm not telling anyone to go against the government or anything like that. But I am saying is we live in a system where we are not in control because of other people's decisions. And one way we can try to have more control and protection of our own life is cryptocurrencies. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, look, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. But I'm involved with Coke Play. You know, I'm vested in Coke Play. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And I gave you some reasons why. Okay? Now, if you want to join Coke Play, which is completely up to you, then, you know, go ahead. Go to Play Store. On type in P-L-A-Y. I mean, I'm sorry. K-O-K space P-L-A-Y. Download the app if you want. You will need a recommendation code. Please use mine. Q-A-A-B-I-R-W-L. Q-A-A-B-I-R-W-L. Okay. Please, everyone, please take good physical care of yourself. Exercise. Do all of that. Please take good spiritual care of yourself. Okay. You know, get right with God. Because we're going to... Things are probably not going to get better. And take good mental care of yourself. Make sure you're surrounded by the right people. Encouraging you, all right. Um, please prepare. You know, once again, I'm not your financial advisor, but you know, it looks like uh, inflation's gonna get worse. There's gonna be food shortages, all of that. You know, protests, people rioting, all of that. In, in the next year, year or two, you might want to prepare for all that. I'm just saying, okay. So everyone, please, uh, God bless all of you. All right. Love all of you in the Coke, Coke family and everyone else out there as well. God bless and Coke on.